So that's a Tahiti uh, reflex unit. This is a reflex out of the Tahini. Um, it mounts to the door like this. Is what it looks like when it's mounted. Whenever this rotates counterclockwise, that is making the game looser. So if you want to make your game as loose as it can, just turn that wheel until this goes as far back as it will. That's looser. This one, I have to hold the. To get it. And that's making it tighter. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. So, the last point I wanted to make is these little tabs right here, here and here. They pretty much bend out of the way. Might need a screwdriver. Got my screwdriver. If you bend that up out of the way, and you bend that out of the way, the cover comes right off. It's pretty much a dust cover for these. And I don't know how well this is going to come out on the film, but right there is a pin, and that pin is about to come in contact with that bolt, and um, that's going to stop that from backing up any further, and I think that you can see it there. I can't really look at what I'm filming and see what's going on here, but Interestingly enough, down here somewhere should be another one, and it isn't in this game. And this is a, a real problem because this bolt right here hits that pin and it keeps it from rotating. But there should be one to keep it from going too far, like kind of like a max for your reflex. So as the reflex is getting tighter, well, here's how it is on the door. And somewhere in there it should stop, and I don't think this one's going to. No, it is. Oh yeah, no, it does. Yep. So on this one, it comes up and hits that bar. And, uh, I don't really know how viewable any of that is. There's my flashlight. Let's see if that's getting filmed. And the problem is, if this pin is out, and that can rotate around freely, this disc will end up in places where it ain't supposed to be. Like if it comes up over here somewhere. That will cause this game to have peculiar short. I mean, it's shortened right through the reflex. Uh, you know, every time the number one uh, mixer is in a certain spot, then you blow your 50 volt fuse. And it's very hard to figure out. And you had a game that was working for a long time. Maybe you had a couple big wins. Now, next thing you know, it's shortened out. It's probably this has walked into somewhere strange where it shouldn't have. And it's definitely worth checking those pins in there. I really have not fixed one million bingos or anything like that. I've probably fixed about 25. And I've had that happen on three of them. So three out of 25, that's a good chance to, to see that happen, in, you know, in my opinion. I think what happens is the operators take that out thinking they're going to make it even more tighter and not understand that by doing so. So, looser, tighter, 
right there you're making that game looser. It gets all the way up to the end, you'll feel it hit that pin. And it has hit that pin. Subject. Maybe now those pins are a little bit more visible. Right in there. That pin has come around and hit that bolt that's down there. And if those bolts ain't in there, that thing will walk somewhere where it ain't supposed to be. That could be a big problem. Lots of shorts.